Now, if pasta is so bad, why do the Italians live so long? At least in certain parts of Italy. Uh, one part, uh, the northern part, called Liguria, they live longer than any other region in Europe. And in Sardinia, which is the second largest island off the coast of Italy in the blue zone, they also are tied with Japan as living the longest. Now, I just wanted to mention that I'm not saying that the entire country of Italy uh, ranks higher than other countries as far as living longer, but these two areas wow. definitely are at the top of the list. And another point that's interesting, out of over a thousand residents aged over 105 years old, 951 of them are female, okay? That's 87.2%. This is because of estrogen. Estrogen can act as an antioxidant, uh, thereby slowing down the free radical exposure and damage to the DNA uh, in the mitochondria. So now I recently did a trip in Italy and I interviewed a lady from Sardinia. A lot of times when you read books or in the news, you hear about the blue zone, Sardinia, they have all sorts of opinions on what they eat. You're gonna find out exactly what Sardinians eat. Uh, so there will be no more mystery. And I think you're gonna be quite surprised at a couple things. But before I show you this interview, I wanna talk about pasta. What's so different uh, about the pasta in Europe and especially Italy, there's no glyphosate. In the US, they spray wheat with glyphosate. That's like the stuff they use in Roundup Ready. Now in the US, it's not GMO, but it's still sprayed with glyphosate unless it's organic. But they don't use glyphosate in Italy. Now, the argument about glyphosate is that it doesn't affect our genes, okay? Well, it definitely affects microbes for sure, okay? And we have a lot of microbes living within our gut and throughout our body. In fact, we have over, I think it's like um, 100 trillion microbes living inside and around. It's, it's about five pounds of microbial life. And this chemical can definitely affect the genetics of those microbes. And we depend on those microbes and they depend on us and they become part of us. So glyphosate can definitely create a lot of problems in your gut if you consume it. Also, the wheat used in pasta in Italy is not enriched, okay, with iron and synthetic vitamins. Iron is very oxidating and corrosive to our bodies. In fact, we don't really have a mechanism of getting rid of iron. So if it accumulates too much, it can create a lot of problems, especially in men, because men are not menstruating like women. But if you're a woman in postmenopausal, uh, you're in risk of accumulating too much iron if you're consuming uh, the wheat in the US. Now, the type of wheat that's used with pasta compared to bread is the durum wheat. It's a, a hard wheat, it's higher in protein, and it digests very slowly. Now, what's interesting about pasta, because it's so condensed, is that it will not spike your blood sugars initially, okay? And it has a glycemic index of 45 to 50 compared to bread, which is 70. However, here's the problem. Check your blood sugars in two or three hours, sometimes four hours, and it will definitely spike your blood sugars. So I am not recommending pasta. All I'm saying is the quality of pasta is a lot better in Italy compared to America. That's probably why people go to Italy and they eat pasta and they don't bloat. Now, let's go to my interview from the lady who lived in Sardinia. Okay, so we have this young lady here from Sardinia and you, you were born there, right? Yeah, I was born in Aguero, yes. And um, when did you move from Sardinia? When I was 20 years old. 20, okay. And give me some examples of types of food that you eat in Sardinia. Oh, we eat a lot of meat, some, you know, pig. Pig, pig meat. Yeah. fascinating. Is it uh, more organic pig? Pork, pork, pork. meat, pork meat. Yeah. Wow. Pork okay. meat, fish. Fish, what Other kind fish? of fish? It depends, uh, sea bream, sea bass, mm -hmm. seashells. How about lobster? Lobster, lobster in the north, Lobster, yeah. wow. I love lobster. Um, and then vegetables? 
vegetables, of course. Do they taste really good? Artichokes. Artichokes. Many artichokes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you is, do they eat a lot of sugar there? No, not too much sugar. Wow. No. Even the desserts, they are not. No, and then the sweets are not really sweet. And then a little pasta, but not too much. Not too much pasta. No. Wow. And what about bread? Yeah, we have a lot of bread. A little bit bread. or a lot of it? A lot, lot. It, it depends. Not too much. No. Okay. And then olive oil. Olive oil. Yes, we've got very good olive oil in Sardinia as well. Different from the Tuscany one. Uh, wow. um, other things we we drink the mirto. What is What's, what is mirto? Mirto is a kind of digestive. Oh, it's okay. made with the um, with the um, mild um, berries. Mm -hmm. The typical plants in Sardinia. It's wow. really good. And then, what about um, people live a long time, but they they spend a lot of time cooking, uh, preparing maybe, homemade. Maybe, maybe yeah. In the past, the the women were more used to you know to spend time preparing food uh, um, for all the family. Now we have less time to do that, but still really wow. interesting no to to um, to cook food no to 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 prepare some food some dishes for the family no? fascinating and how, how old are you i'm nearly 49 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and your, you your never have to ask the, the age of a woman. Right, it's bad to ask <laughs> yeah. that. But your grandmother is still living? No. Well, how, long, how old did she live She died till? when she was 92. 92. And did she look fairly young? Yeah, she was. She looks really young. My so, mom as well. Yeah. Wow. And then um, how about your um, stress level in Sardinia? Is it a high stress, low stress? No. No. Very low stress. Low stress. I think that's the secret. That's, the that's one of the secrets. Wow. The food, the stress, you know, the life is very quiet, no no pressure. It's an island, right? Yeah, it is. It is. So you're on the island, you have a lot of fish, yeah. um, low pace, low stress, but vegetables and healthy food. Yeah. And um, Like many part of Italy, I think, but maybe in Sardinia, even the air, you know, the water, something is different. Mm. Do you drink? Do you drink the water right from the tap, or do you no. have to filter it? When I was young, yes, I used to okay. to drink water from the tap. Mm. From tap. Now, no, no. And then, do they drink uh, wine? Yeah, they drink a lot. Yeah, some, but do some they ever wine. drink too much, or just enough, just a little no, bit? No, just a little bit. I don't think they, wow. they drink beer. You beer? know, Sardinia, yeah. Do they make their own beer? No, not their own beer, but there are many industries, many companies that do beer. Uh, wow. Yeah. And how about like the pesticides, the GMO foods, uh, do they do that there or no? I think like not too much. I think not too much. So they're you have to come to move in Sardinia I'm gonna definitely to discover, be going, I'm gonna to, discover go there. That, to ask them. No? So they kind of uh, kept the culture there all the time. It's like the culture's been there for, they keep the culture the same. They don't alter it and become more American. No, 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 no. They want to keep, you know, the culture to limit the culture to the island. I mean. Mm. We are an island, so mm. we don't have many. In the past, we don't, we didn't have, we didn't have many contacts with the, the um, other countries. Okay. Yeah, so maybe they. Fascinating. Awesome. They well, keep the, you know, they keep they preserve the, it. they preserve, yeah, the, the culture, the, the all the, the food recipes, and even the maybe the vegetable, the plants, you know. Wow. Well, so I will be moving to Sardinia shortly, and I'll be living there. <laughs> that was interesting, wasn't it? I mean, she definitely does not look 48 or almost 49 years old. But did you hear what she said? Pork, okay? Now, we've been taught that pork is very bad for us, right? Well, <laughs> they consume a lot more pork, fish, shellfish, loaded with DHA, okay? Iodine, selenium, zinc, copper, very, very good for anti-aging, vegetables, artichokes, but not much sugar, not many desserts, and not much pasta. Some bread, some wine, of course, and some beer. Uh, olive oil, of course, and a digestive, okay? Some type of uh, berry that actually helps the digestive process. Low stress, they walk a lot, probably to burn off these carbs right here. Now, it's very, very difficult to isolate exactly what specific food or thing is helping Sardinians live longer, 
But I want to ask you, out of all of these or some other, other factors, go ahead and list down below in the comment section what you think contributes most to longevity from people that live in the blue zone. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.